Goff here. Welcome to video number 22 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. I'm going to point out some of the elements that we're actually looking at and uh, you'll have a better description of them that way. Now you can see right here where I'm pointing this is the one inch square aluminum extrusion and uh, that is mounted to uh, a board which is mounted to the PVC framework and uh, it's adjusted at an angle that uh, matches the angle or the slope I should say of the um, wheel rim it's about an 8 degree angle now you can see uh, attached to the bottom of the extrusion we have the aluminum anodized aluminum slider rail and uh, this is what makes the sliding mechanism work uh, a little further if I pull this out a little further you can see the PTFE slider block see that and that fits into a groove in the rail and this, this is what gives it the free sliding movement now, Underneath, you can see uh, the, these white items here, the round white items. These are rollers, and uh, these will go on either side of the uh, test track. And alongside of that, we have the uh, neodymium hard drive magnet. And in this area is the uh, north pole of the magnet. And on the inside uh, part is the south pole, so north, south. And we're directly over a north facing up magnet group. And um, so if, if the south is directly over it, as it is right now, it's of course in attraction. If I pull the carriage out a little bit and release it it'll slide back to the attraction point same thing if I push it in it's going to move out to the attraction point and it adjusts itself now if I move the north inwards I can find a point where it will stay put uh, on either side of that if I go a little bit inwards it's going to repel and if I come back there again to the center point move it a little bit outwards and it's going to repel out this way so that's the action we have a north facing up group as I said and uh, now here you can see the masonite arc the first masonite test arc with the polyethylene track material attached to it and uh, the masonite arc is attached to the um, polycarbonate track base ring it's a quarter inch thick polycarbonate clear polycarbonate material and that's the same material that's used for the um, stator carriage that's quarter inch clear polycarbonate now you can see here that I have a um, screw at the end of the uh, masonite test arc and that's attached to the polycarbonate ring and this end of the test arc acts as a pivot point. It's a stationary pivot point. Now, let me adjust the slider so that the wheels are against the track and you'll see what happens. Uh, this is the point where we'd normally start at uh, for a test and uh, we're right at the end of the north group so it's going to give it a little bit of a repulsion kick. You see that? And then it would uh, have an attraction as it uh, nears the south-facing up magnet group here. This is all south-facing up. 
Now you can see that the uh, static carriage is starting to move out because of the uh, the way the track is laid out. And when I get to the back end of the south group, the um, south end of the stator magnet is going to be in repulsion with the south tail end of the south group. Okay, and that would give us another kick. Now at the left end of the test arc, you can see I have another screw and uh, this is attaching the masonite arc to the polycarbonate ring. And there's a series of holes along here and uh, I think there's six of them actually. They're about, uh, each is about a quarter inch apart. And uh, I did this so that I could adjust the test arc uh, inwards or outwards. It's fully outwards now. It's even with the edge of the uh, polycarbonate ring. And uh, I, I can remove the screw and reposition the test arc and uh, reattach the screw and um, this will make an adjustment at each one of these holes so, so that we'd be moving inwards. Okay, and, and by moving inwards we would uh, lessen the amount of uh, movement of the, of the static carriage. Right now it starts off with the uh, rail uh, one inch in from the outside edge of the uh, polycarbonate ring. As it progresses along, it comes right out. Uh, the, you can see that the um, the track comes right out to the edge. So uh, what we have done is to uh, achieve one inch of uh, static carriage movement, linear movement, one inch from one end to the other. And, of course, if I swivel this end inwards and reattach it, uh, e at each point we're going to have uh, less travel. Okay, so uh, what I decided on these tests was that I would start at the repulsion point up here and, uh, and let the unit go. Now what happens, you can see, I, I was able to come up uh, part way through this rotor group. The, the question, of course, was how far could I move the um, uh, track, thus moving the static carriage, how far could I move this if I tried to move it while progressing through the south group? You see? It, it, ideally, you would, you would like to have the south pole of the stator magnet uh, right at the repel point at maximum repulsion when you get to the end of this screw. And the only way to do that would be to move this one inch. So the question is, can we move one inch? Uh, I, I would doubt it very much. Uh, I doubt that that's possible because uh, this method of movement, uh, moving while you're progressing through a magnet group, is the most difficult movement to achieve uh, using a track system. Uh, it would be easier to move the static carriage after you pass the last magnet of the uh, south group. But ideally, as I say, it would be best if you could have that uh, south of the uh, stator magnet positioned right at uh, maximum repulsion, right at the end of the south group, right at the tail end. So while it would be best to, to do that, it, it probably isn't possible.